Well, the holiday season can be especially difficult for grieving children and families, which is why children who have lost a loved one need extra care and attention at this time. And National Children's Grief Awareness Day is recognized the Thursday before Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. It is observed to let grieving children know they are not forgotten in the midst of their sadness and confusion. And I'm very pleased to say that Jade Bach is here with us. She is executive director of the Children's Grief Center of New Mexico. Welcome back. Hi, Nikki. Thank Thanks you for, for being me. here again. This is really important. You know, we, we think so happily of the holidays, but there are sure. some people going through a lot of tough stuff. And the Children's Grief Center provides free, I said free, and ongoing support groups for grieving kids and their families. So tell us about these services that you provide so generously. Sure. Well, the Children's Grief Center is a small, local 501c3 mm -hmm. that provides support groups, not counseling, support groups right. for young people ages 5 to 25 who've had a loved one die. Yeah. Um, these groups are provided through the generosity of our very awesome volunteers and community that. support. We don't receive any state or federal funding. Wow. It really is an effort by the community for the community. No one ever thinks they're going to come to a place like the Children's Grief Center. Of course not. It's not something you think about, especially as a child. So right. I'm so glad you're bringing awareness to it once again. In fact, we actually have a clip that I want to show of some children who have relied on the Grief Center to cope with some of their losses. Take a look. I'm 14, I'm in the 8th grade, and my mother died. I'm 10 years old, I'm going into the 5th grade, and my dad is the one who died. Whenever I was 11, in August 16th, my father passed away. He had died from uh, diabetes. I'm 14, I'm going to La Cueva High School, I uh, play the flute. I lost my mom, which is why I came to the grief center. I don't like people to know my situation because when they do, they feel sorry for me, and I don't like that. And we sent her to a nursing home, even though she was like 30 or so at the time, and she died there like a week later. They say that the grief center is for children, but adults end up talking too. It's heartbreaking, and I was just saying that, you know, it's so hard to hear that and so sad, and you said it'd be a lot sadder if they didn't have a place to go where exactly. people understood what they're going through. That's absolutely right. And so how and when was the Grief Center found in the first place? Well, the Children's Grief Center is actually 11 years old this year, and we were founded um, by just a group of compassionate community folk mm -hmm. who realized there, there were a lot of programs out there for adults who lost a loved one, yes. but nothing for kids. Good point, good point. And like you said, it's not this one-on-one -on -one going to a psychiatrist or a therapist. It's a, it's a group that you right. can be with who can understand what you're going through, and nobody else can understand better than someone who had the same experience. So yeah. how do children grieve? Well, that's a good question, and sometimes it doesn't look like they're grieving at all. Mm. You know, adults tend to be laid low, pretty sad, yeah. and kids can be all over the place. If you've ever been to a funeral and you've seen a little one running around, mm -hmm. or um, they go back to school and they're trying to act like nothing happened, that's right. teenagers mm -hmm. most typically. Well, you heard that one kid say, I don't want people to feel sorry for me. Right. And yeah. That's something they go through. So kid grief is different than adult grief, and it can be hard for family members when they're all sort of in a different place. Yeah. A very a young child will often ask weeks after the funeral, my daddy died, do you know when he's coming home? Ugh, they just ugh, don't understand that death is permanent and that it's universal. So, well then how should parents or, or teachers or any other adult for that matter who's involved in a child's life, how should they acknowledge and support the grieving child? That's, what would you recommend? That's a good question and often we're kind of afraid and we don't want to bring it up and we don't want to make them sad, yeah. but trust me, they're thinking about it anyway. Mm -hmm. It's always okay to say, I'm sorry for your loss. That's just universal and that's yeah. always okay. But kids at the Grief Center often report that they love it when people will come up and they'll share specific memories. Like, Aww. your mother had the greenest thumb and the best garden. Or, I remember a time when your dad helped me with a flat tire. Because mm. it gives them new memories of their parents right. who they don't get to have and, more memories with. And you know what? It's on their hearts and minds anyway. Yeah. It's okay to bring it up great advice and you know I think there's a lot of confusion often for people who are thinking how do I manage these holiday celebrations with a grieving child sure. because you know how happy can I act or how they just don't know what to do so how would you recommend that adults handle and manage the holidays in general for a grieving child well first of all adults I would say be gentle with yourself it's gonna okay. hurt in new and surprising ways that you did not expect okay um, actually at the Children's Grief Center we do a lot of work around the holidays and we have a uh, workshop it's called grief in the holidays. Okay. It's December 15th 
from 9 to 11 and information about it is on our website. Okay, good. It's free like all of our services. So, the, so families can come and they can just get some specific ideas. Mm -hmm. But in general, I would say share memories. I would say find a way to include the, the person that you lost in your celebrations. If okay. you want to buy a gift for them and donate it somewhere. If you want to make a charitable contribution to something they cared about in their memory. Mm -hmm. So don't ignore it. Don't no. pretend like it's not. No. I mean, let, acknowledge it. Let them yes. know that you're acknowledging Talk that Talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, okay, that's really good advice. I mean, and, and it's okay to be happy over a holiday. It's okay to find the festiveness too, You know, right? and kids are great at that. Mm -hmm. um, they move in and out of their pain. Yeah. Um, they'll be happy and laughing one minute, and then they'll realize something, and they'll be sad the next. Oh, yeah. Sometimes older children and adults we might feel a little guilty if we're having fun. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. Good advice. And we also want to remind our viewers to wear blue tomorrow. Yeah. That's in Ooh. recognition of National Children's Grief Awareness Day. And let's remind them one more time where they can go for more information. Sure. You know, there's a lot of resources on our website, okay. childrensgrief.org. Okay. Um, they can also call the Children's Grief Center. We are located in the near North Valley. Um, Perfect. And so they can come by and visit our losing library. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for what you do for all these kids. We appreciate oh, you so you. much. Thank you.